And uh, Lil is dirty with this hero. He, I, I mean, you said it before. I've heard it from people like capitalists and structured lane setups. Like S4 can handle his own. Bulldog should be able to handle his own. This is something that he's done a bazillion times as it is. And it allows, you know, engagements, which are happening like mid lane. They move in. They have the benefit of the Earthshaker being there. And they're trying to make it go into Dazzle, but it's not working out for Loda. Loda's going to be going down. He's the first blood. They might get FNG on the return. They will. But it is going to be first blood bonus for the side of VP, and they get the tiny down of all people. First down, this Visage or Dazzle, especially Dazzle, is such an Bulldog's important Bulldog's in a bit of trouble here, Claire. Yeah, uh, he's no dead. Poison Touch again, but they just walk right up to him and just slam him against the bridge wall oh, there. Gravely. And he somehow just finagled his way out. Nope, he did not. Lil has the final blow right there. FNG barely alive, has to use the Grave to step away again. These little... Oh, oh it's not doing as they please. Oh, here we go. Silent. Crushes on forward. Bulldog not going to be able to get the catch, but the toss forward onto Ake. And Ake's like, well, I can't do much about it. I can hit him. I can't really slow him down. Oh, oh that yeah. nog on the noggin there. It was uh, Nature's Prophet ulti. And then a follow-up right click from Ake. Got to get the finish there. And Ake ends up going down. Is under attack. As he Just denied out a fresh new ward. So that's, that's a pretty good bonus as well. Bottom lane. Load is going in. And uh, Bobo's trying to make him work for it. Could not get the uppercut off. And they will quickly make a retreat. Will they catch up? Oh, they got the, the slow, but no follow-up is going to be there. And Ake Loda going to make a safe retreat. And now they're going to relocate. The party doesn't stop until Loda shows up. Top lane. And they're going to get the kill now onto Silent. Nice twofer for the Wisp Tiny duo. Despite the vision, it's like it's kind of risky because you don't know where exactly Dyer's the slaughter is. I think it was a wise choice for S4 to just put it in range and get it. Oh, crush from Silent onto the two. Oh Loda gosh. goes down. Ake is there to follow. Nice setup from Silent. They just pounce onto him. Alliance didn't just make the full escape. They stepped back. Makes it out from trouble. Loda is not able to get the catch. And Alliance will have to turn tail and walk away. But will all of them make him out safely? Uh-oh. Bulldog gets blocked. They roll in. They uppercut. He can't make it out. He's down. G gets the mega kill there. And that was supposed to be an Alliance smoke movement. Into the woods for a jeep. Imagine. Must not be fun. Or though. Oh. He's oh, able to blink. Man, he baited Can they out. find oh, him? No, they found him. The bloodhounds were out and they found the trail. They do get help though. Relocate in. Comes out from Loda and Ake and they're able to get the crush. They take down two. And it looks like they're going to be relocated back in the way when they want to finish off the bird. That was a nice turnaround for Alliance. It cost them a relocate. But they got the job done. S4, oh. he laid the trap. And Phobos now, I think he might go down as well. A double trap. <laughs> Phobos is going to get dropped now. Yeah. That was he really set the trap on that one. What I initially thought was a misplink turned out fantastic for him. <laughs> G goes down at top. As will heal. It's like, yeah. <laughs> hope to God that that is going to be enough. Outside of that, it's just not that good. And when they have to frantically split their precious team apart, now they're killing people, it looks like here. Phobos gets caught out bottom lane, goes down to uh, relocate from Loda and Ake. They're just not going to have an answer for all that pressure, and they can't afford to split up. Top lane, though, Silent gets him on the comeback, and he's still alone. But now Lil's able to show up. They get a toss back, force away from Silent. Now looking to re-engage, but they get the help from Bulldog here, who does TP in. Lil, going to be going down first. Loda bats him on down with the Whomping Willow, and they're looking for more. Silent, though, is sprinted up, but not the Dazzle. He gets catched, tossed up and down. It will not be taken apart yet. He still holds the shallow grave. Can he get it up? Oh, he got it off at the last second. My goodness. Now, though, it's not going to matter. As they go ahead and just continue chasing on four, they even give him with the urn. G going to be almost trapped, is able to force away from trouble thanks to Silent. Silent going to be eating the Sonic Wave, and he goes down. Alliance now pulling the game out. Top tower is under they're able to just edge kill after kill after kill. It's like the third time we've seen this game, and they're already going to work on this tier three. Yeah, I really do think at this stage of the game, Alliance have a superior strategy. And VP, of course, going in one by one like that, definitely not the solution here. In the end, they do pay the price. Viper is orchided up now, and this tier three will go down for sure. But I imagine Alliance is just going to try to play it slow for the time being. They don't have all of their ultimates as they'd like to. G commits in, but he's a single target kind of a guy. He's just hoping to get the Wisp. Now they do get him down. They turn their focus on the low to get him. Phobos is already moving on forward. That means Bulldog's going to get left there. He goes down to buyback, relocate, coming back from Ake and Loda. Look at the finish this game out here and now. If they can get these kills, 
Yes. This game could be theirs, and it looks like they're going to be able to knock down Lil, but his birds starting to do a bit of work yes. on Ake, and oh, he brings them both back to base. Don't know if it was intentional or not, but the rest of the team has got to get the hell out. Silent is back. He's looking to move in. Misses the crush, but almost gets S4 there. But he is still going to be on the chase. <laughs> points at him. Gives him the amp damage. Oh, he but, needs to uh, drop the, the blink dagger. Oh, no. He can't get away from the birds. <laughs> and that means that the, they will go ahead and stun him down, and Kebab will be crushed and taken care of. Mm-hmm. Unless he's done on the chase. To, again, I thought Alliance should have had on one at the time, but... I don't know. I almost felt like Lord was like, hey, we might be able to fight this. That's not the case. Ake makes his return, and he will be the martyr of this trade. He goes down, and they catch out S4 trying to come that way, but S4 gets his own kill. Finishing out FNG uses the Sonic Wave and Orchid, and that's going to be enough to take down the little support. Yes, yes. I saw that as well. Yeah, that's that's when you know, like, you got to get it. Oh! Nice little sidestep, but oh, it doesn't matter. Ow! Oh, oh, Dazzle's dead, for sure. That's the gem. Back the other way. Lil sprouted up, caught out. Desperate to make it away. Dishing out the birds. Can he stun him up with the birds to keep him away? He certainly can. Thanks, my little children. And now, what's this? Mobos looking to go in. No, he does not. He jukes back. They know they can't win this fight, and they are going to get it regardless. Phobos will be going down first to Loda. Creeping in the other way is silent here, but where's G? Our big damage. He will eat up the Sonic Wave. He's looking to get a hold of a fight, but it ain't coming too easy. There, he's going to get a hold of Ake. Ake will go down. Holy smokes. And, uh, you know, this is the best fight they could ask for so far. But even if they end up getting kills like this one on Kebab, they are going to have a hard time following it up. With, I mean, what the hell? He just drops an Echo. He's really making silent work for this. And, oh, he makes it away. But they have vision. He finally catches up, gets the stun. It's all in good fun, but now look, oh, Bulldog's dear. back. And Silent will go down, and <laughs> look who lives at the end of the day. Yeah, very nicely executed by the side of Alliance there. Uh, the whole sequence of Echo, Enchant Totem Stun, and doing the classic old style where you buy the Ultimate Orb first, because the Void Stone as well as the Mystic Staff used to be in the Secret Shop. Um, but now it's the other case where the Ultimate Orb and the Mystic Staff and the Secret oh, Shop. Oh, Bulldog gets caught oh. out. Oh. Silent spotted him out, they TP'd in. Viper with those fancy new shoes, but while he's TP'd in there, that means no one's gonna be top! How's Viper gonna get back? Because Lona's just ramming down these racks. That's the fight, he got his fight, congratulations, but home base is in trouble. And they're just gonna be able to clean this one out, but look at that, they're jumping behind lines, and credit to Lil! Finishes out Ake, which means Lona's gonna be stranded! And he goes down. Now he does have a buyback. All's good there. Minion's Dyer's Courier, going to be going down mid lane. And that was to a mighty Lil there. But top lane, S4 making a move on to G. Commits the Sonic Wave, it's a tanky Viper. Relocate coming in, Loda and Ake. Going to show up now and they're going to get the job done. G does have a buyback. And boots of travel. If the opportunity presents itself, which it looks like it may, Silent is already committed in. Oh, he pops his BKB, but that was a relocate now. Pulling Loda back. But it looks like instead they uh, are going to get Ake, it looks like, on the return side. A little try to, at least, with the birds, but not going to be able to get the grab. Now he puts his attention on the Bulldog, and man, they hit hard. Lil is just putting up a serious fight here. Spawns up a new set of birds, and looks like they're not going to be able to get it. Uh -oh. Wow, nice pick offs at top in the meantime. <laughs> Sorry, I got caught up. Apparently the stream went down for a bit more, oh, so I'm going to check that at the same time, but they're making a move. For Silent, S4 almost caught out. Sonic Wave will hit him, but it will not be doing a whole lot. And he'll be able to quickly get this wave cleared out. Was that a double? Yeah, it was. I don't know if that was a double refresher. No, he did not use it, but it was another Nature's Wrath coming out. The push continues on. Now they're sieging into the mid lane. One Rax oh, to no. go down. Bottom lane, Loda almost caught. Lil, that's going to cost them their ages as he gets the grab on the Silent. And they're heading back mid lane. There's Alliance going in. Oh, oh they're they're get, but man, the Rax is going down. The trees are just a bit too much. They don't have the Tusk to help out. They don't want to spend G's buyback here. Wow, I'm, I'm actually so surprised he didn't buy and Keep their dreams alive of moving on into the playoff round into a good upper bracket spot. And oh, they're committing in. They're going to use that sheep to get a hold of Silent now. Silent assistance is on the way. And there's G, pops his BKB, but no, Silent will be going down. He buys back, and he's going to be looking to TP in back into the action here. Loda 
is gonna go down. Oh, and Bulldog back down. bottom. And this is it. He's trying to make the most of it, but Silent's already back in action there. Jumped, crushes him, and it looks like Bulldog is gonna be going down. His little critters are trying their best. But this is Virtus Pro's time, and they are beelining it towards the uh, the Alliance base now. Is he gonna yeah, port bottom? Know. Is he gonna port mid? What is he gonna do? I'm trying to keep my eyes on the mini map just to watch out for what the hell is gonna be happening here. He sprouts up the racks, and it will fall shortly after. As they do this, there it is. It's gonna be the relocate to the mid lane here from Alliance. And Loda immediately has to blink out. FNG, they're waiting for him, and so is Silent. And they're gonna get the kill on Aki. It looks like Alliance are not gonna be able to rat their way out of this game. Virtus Pro have held on strong. They're taking out the bottom set of racks. Now only three left alive for him. And they're trying to put a final hurrah here on the Phobos as he's BKB'd up. The rest of Virtus Pro, though, already making their move back onto the mid lane. They're going to take down the tier three, the racks to follow. Mid lane. They relocate in for Silent. Or they at least boot the travel in for Silent. He's not going to make it out. He goes down. S4 gets the catch onto him, and now they're going to be looking for FNG. Toss in, they club, oh he eats the gosh. cheese, forces up to the high ground, and will TP out from trouble. So Back into clutch. base. Oh, oh I was not able to get the catch. Draggy proc on the top. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Loda makes it out back into base. Sonic wave from S4. Scooches out and away from trouble. Teams no. can kill whoever they jump on. Stall. Just who will get that jump and win. Mid lane, it's Alliance more on the offensive here while they can. But they caught someone else back on the other side. It's Lil making a move for Loda here, but Lil far from home. Snowball's coming in. Lil still alive, will go down. That's a gem on the deck. He will buy back. G and company forcing themselves forward onto Ake, but Ake's gonna get the relocate back and over. On the other side, FNG up in arms here with S4. S4's gonna blink away from trouble. Can pop, pop down the Echo Slam. will finish off FNG. The Radiant now have And now they turn back for DK, but look at this. Look what's happening. Riddled throughout the base. Little tree on monsters. Taking it home. Mid lane mid lane racks are down. Bottom lane racks are down. And the tier fours start angle defense ready to go. This is the zone. <laughs> angle defense, the zone. This is some Lakers play right here. Yep. Oh, snowball in from Phobos. A long chase here. Aki's gonna be able to make it away, or will he? He's going to commit the BKB. He wants this whiz ball so damn bad. And oh, the force forward. Silent's going to be a swing and a miss, and he is gone. Okay, back in the base. Does he have anything? Can he quickly buy a glimmer cape? Blink dagger? Will he make it alive? <sighs> Place oh, your bets, yeah. In. Place your bets. Loda goes in. He gets off the dunk. Oh, a little bit of damage done. Ake okay, binds up to him, but Loda may not live. He goes down. 108 seconds. Does have a buyback here. They're looking for follow up action now as they roll forward. On to Ake, jump in from Kebab, gets off the dunk for Phobos here, but they're going to be able to clear him down. How's the base looking? The Megas are coming in, they're poking at Tier 4s, but Lil with that triangle defense is holding out. That's good. S4 is trying his damnness, though, to keep the pressure there. Burr's Pro, another fight in their favor, but again, another time where they may not be able to utilize it in getting out much further from the base. Tier 4 goes down. Another minute before Phobos is back here. Alliance struggling, kind of breaching in. Are they going to sheep him up? Oh, they're going to sheep up Silent on the other side. G rotates over. Lotus, it's a diversion. Lotus cutting back behind. He's going for the tower. <laughs> He's like, oh, he tries to go in, but he gets abyssal bladed up now. He's still going to try to go to work. He's hitting it. He's hoping the cleave will do enough. He even gets help with the Lotus, but he will end up going down. But they get that tier four. Earthshaker follow-up dunk. Try to make a move here on the Silent. Silent still holds out, crushes up, and now will make his move and get the kill on the Kebop. And at the end of the day, Alliance may have only just gotten tier fours from this advantage. Decide to spawn them. Oh, pardon me, I don't think they get vision anymore. Hold on, maybe with the spell. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, jump in, dunk, follow up, Sonic Wave, toss combo, Silent goes down, he'll have to quickly buy back. Phobos the follow up, he does not have a buyback. G here now with that rapier, but Alliance are already happy to get that that little hit and run done. Yep. Now they go in. It's a five versus four. Oh, oh S4 trying to make a move on FNG, who does get the grave off in time. Dyer's now we look at Kabat being in, looking to block out Silent. It's the Silent's uh, second life here, and they're making a move for him. He has to BKB. 
to avoid being taken out of the game permanently. Lodo walking around here, trying to find a proper target. Looks like he'll get the toss back on Silent. Not enough. He lives. He'll be able to make it back to the fountain for now. But look at Bulldog. He's going right for what's important to throw. Him and Loda now in arms. Looking to move in. Oh, the throw's going G. down. They can't stop him. Can they stop him? G's looking to move in. Uses Viper Strike on himself with the Echo Shell, but they are going to be able to get it. Loda buys back, and it's over already. It doesn't matter. Too much onto the throne, and... Oh. Alliance get the job done. Virtus Pro is just too much, and then you feel like, God damn it, did we really have to wait out that half hour for them to ultimately get the game? But you know what? Credit to Virtus Pro. They tried their best. They did, man. They